Hi. Hi. Hey. 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 Well, welcome Keith to the Carberry to Jordan Mallory. Hey, Kyle Churchill. I just realized this would have been a good opportunity for us to like start the game from the beginning and he listen to that opening cutscene that we didn't listen to the first eh, time. I don't but give a shit. I can't even. <laughs> I don't know even how to open the menu. If you do anything, you might break the. It's like we have right now a Jenga like audio setup. We don't know mm -hmm. what's keeping it together. It's not even. It's not even Jenga like. It's just. I don't even know. Yeah. It's like Jenga like if you've removed the third bar and it's still floating. Like that's the <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're we're not playing Real Mist Masterpiece Edition right now. We're playing as, Real Mist. As we have been playing. We're playing Real Mist. And by Real Mist, I don't mean Real Mist. We're playing the Actual original Mist. We're playing uh, regular Mist Masterpiece Edition um, for two reasons. I just want to show what this game looks like generally and also we've been doing a blue plate a blue page run to r avoid having to repeat um places like go through places twice um but now we're gonna so we're gonna tackle we're gonna kill two birds with one stone see original mist and collect red we're gonna pages. tackle two birds to death <laughs> with one stone we we uh avoided going back and getting the red pages to avoid specifically what we're about to go do now. Yeah, but at least we're doing it in a different version of the game. See, it's like right. these little uh, butterflies going around. I think that's like, that. this is Masterpiece Edition. Like, that stuff wasn't there in, in the original Myst. Uh, um, Kyle, the game audio is, is, is a little loud for me. Yeah. Over y'all. I don't know if we even want to risk you know, I think you might be right because I think the uh, I'll 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 bump it down. Because I think what might have happened is we tested the audio when the audio was at a low point. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How's that? That is no different for me whatsoever. <laughs> really? Yeah. Are you sure? Does this doesn't seem quite like seem the same? How's that? Yeah, no, it's it's exactly the same. It can't be. It is. It is. Well, you know what? I don't know. I'll, I'll deal with you'll it. You'll have don't to deal with it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. So fuck off, Jordan. God. Yeah. My 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 sensitive ears are just too uh, astute. I guess. Yeah, I don't know why that would be. That doesn't make any sense. <sighs> None of this makes I, any sense. Don't question it's it. It's literally. Do not question it's, the audio setup. I'm pretty sure there's a little tiny wizard living in one of these cables, <laughs> and he's fucking with us. All he's right. Going, he's going. He's uh, going. Mixel Pitalix all over our cables. <laughs> Mr. Mixel Mi 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 I No, I think it's. I thought it was Mixel Pitalix. Max. Hey, here's a red page. Let's put it in the book. Jordan, do you know how to pronounce that guy's name? Maxel, shut. Let's just listen to Cirrus. Okay. Why? Bring me a red. This is kind of the worst. It goes on. Yeah, it goes on a little bit. Yeah. So that's that. Uh, hey, hey guys. Hey, hey guys. What? Hey guys. What? Why so serious? His name is is Cirrus, not serious. Why so serious black? No. Why that's different? Enemy violence is we're going to have uh Wait, hold on. I think okay, so I think enemy violence talking about uh, that we're using virtual audio cable. No, we're to, not. which we are not using. We just have real audio cables. 
I'm, I'm, Kyle, what are you doing? I'm just watching this wipe animation that's only supposed to apply to the door, but it's just slightly changing the inside of the elevator also, and I'm just Oh yeah, the door that. closed is just a tiny little bit brighter. Weird. And the texture's a little bit different. Maybe that's just the brightness. I don't so, know. I'm not 100% sure if this is a real difference between Original Mist and Original Mist Masterpiece Edition. But the way it was for me, because I, I, I installed the original mist. Oh, here's how we get. Anyways. Um, oh, right. Zip mode. What's zip mode? What is zip mode? Ooh, it's hint like system. You are on Mist Island. Enjoy its surrealistic beauty and explore its mysteries. How do I put you away? Go away. Okay. Um, when I installed the original- Ah, oh, I forgot to fucking point it at the thing. Gotta go flip those switches, dog. God, I'm a dickhead. You're kind of a dickhead. Oh, did the game just crash? Oh, shit. Oh, man, the game just crashed. That sucks. Well- Yeah. Well, now I'm gonna start the game. What if we start the game and then no one can hear it? Like, we can't hear it, Jordan can't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I can definitely hear it. Yeah, okay. Too loud? Um, if I do anything, it'll cancel out the opening animation, so let's just watch this so we have it for posterity. Yeah, because there's... no one's thought to record this. <laughs> Never. Super weird. Anyways, I don't know if it was a problem with compatibility, because I was... Like, Original Mist is from 1993, and I was using it on, like, XP or Vista or something. Yeah. But it had, like, no animations. Oh, God, it's so loud. It's really loud. Cyan or Cyan? Like, Cayenne. Fuck you. It's Cayenne. <laughs> this is nice. Meh. Jordan, you can see this, right? Yeah. Okay. I realized the moment I fell into the fissures that the book would not be destroyed as I had planned. It continued falling into that starry expanse of which I had only a fleeting glimpse. I've tried to speculate where it might have landed. I must admit, however, such conjecture is futile. Still, questions about whose hands might one day hold my missed book are unsettling to me. I know my apprehensions might never be allayed, and so I close, realizing that perhaps the ending has not yet yet been written. Ta -da. That's it. Is a little verbose. Yeah. <laughs> Put that on the back of the box for this game. A little verbose. Anyways, <laughs> what I was trying to say was I played the original non masterpiece edition Mist, and like there were no animations really. Like, you know, we saw the elevator go up through the tower and yeah. stuff. Okay, so this is Mist Masterpiece. Yeah. Right. And uh, like, there's a point down Mist here. One. Yeah, I'm going to grab him when like gears rise up out of the water to make a walkway over here and like oh i can't get that one and like they were all instant like i would just hit the button on the elevator and i would just it would be like boop and i'm on the second floor and i'm not sure if those animations were all added in the masterpiece edition or if it was just some problem where it wasn't playing the animations on my computer but that's a thing oh so you didn't you never answered me uh earlier because we weren't recording what's up does this is this game super disorienting to play? Because um, I literally cannot follow this motion. It. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I, I think it's like a learned thing. Like, it, why can't I get to the fucking book? You have to walk forward once more. There you go. No. Oh, okay. I'll just skip over this. Can you skip it? Yeah. I should be able to. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Shut up, nerd. Uh... And in balance, his hypercard didn't have animations per se. You could switch between stacks rapidly or cards. So I guess. Okay, thanks, nerd. <laughs> I guess. Wait, so. I maybe what they're trying to say in their own way is yes, the original Mist did not have animations. Right. <laughs> I don't know. I think they're telling you why it didn't. Because maybe because it can't do it. Um. Because hypercard. Get out of here. So and now, now I remember why. PowerPoint. Now I remember why this part of the game was so much harder in the original versus Masterpiece Edition. Real Mist Masterpiece Edition is because that one had the words "tower rotation" down at the bottom yeah. of the portrait, <laughs> and that makes all the difference. Oh no, it does. Shit. 
shit. Oh, oh. god. That's bad. That's that bad. Is, Don't I, have that. I should also lower the volume. Man, Robin Miller. Buddy. Oh, the volume is lowered. Christ. Okay. Is Robin Miller the one that did the audio? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, you fucking jerk. <laughs> I, um... I've made the decision that if I can find my Kindle over the weekend, I'm going to buy the books for this stuff. There's books? There are three books. What? That's almost as many um, Halo books I as I've read. Oh, okay. I was going to say, no, there's a ton of Halo books. I I kind of want to read those books. Uh, I bet this would be way better as a book. Um... There's also a, that zip mode thing I was talking about is something that's not really possible in real mist. Uh-huh. And that's um, in actual mist. No, in real mist. Oh, okay. Uh, it is it is here in actual mist, and that is like a kind of quick travel system. Seven two four. Got it. Uh, whereby I'll turn it on right now. Um, you can you can click to places that are normally a. F- Oh, okay, so like there the elevator was instant and then out here you can click to things that are normally several clicks away and you'll know that it's happening because the cursor will change to a lightning bolt and you'll and it, and it only works for places you've been to before. So if That's I walk cool. if I walk out here, there's a lightning bolt down here and I'm like instantly this way. So you just get around a lot faster. Yeah. You use this for your speed runs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But we don't. I don't think we need. It's it. great that they found a way to make the game even harder to follow. <laughs> yeah, it's you. You definitely get used to the the weird way that Mist and Riven move. <laughs> How do I turn you? Crank it. Crank it. You gotta crank. Maybe that. it's because you're holding the match. I don't know how to drop it though. Oh, it's going out. All right, it's gone. It's gone. Good. Fuck that match. Fuck that match. No. Maybe there's a valve somewhere that you have to use to release that valve. No, it's just supposed. No, to No, we go. didn't have to do that last time. Oh God, why? Oh, I did. I lit it down here. Why are you not moving? Oh, there we go. Oh, you were turning it the red direction. You turned the green direction. <laughs> what the fuck? It's either on or off. It's just going on and then going off automatically. Oh, okay. I'm supposed to drag it in a circle. Okay. Best-selling PC game. Why is it going back? This must be the timing mechanism in this version of it. No, it's not. The timing mechanism is you can hear big, like, like big, uh, like thunking sounds, like, like boom, 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 as like the tree moves. What is going on here? I think you have to turn it all the way. Oh, oh, it's going. Go look up. at the tree. All right, it's going up. Yeah. <laughs> is it gonna go enough to go up one or two? No. Okay. No. Well, that was man. What? How I don't unwieldy? I understand what's happening. I don't either. <laughs> but I don't even understand what you're do. Why you're doing this? I, I think I think we have to keep turning it until the, the PSI level again. gets to maximum. Did the game crash? Oh my god! We should go into real miss masterpiece. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna get it. Okay. <laughs> and it's gonna work, and it's gonna be great. I believe you. I just don't care. Here we go. Switches. No, I don't need to do it. It's safe. Oh. I only needed that for the tower rotation to get the combination, but I remember the combination. Okay. Get the fuck over there. What is wrong with you? You still have to go forward yeah. one. There we go. go. There you go. What if it's different every time? It's not. Yeah, 724. Good. Save. 
save game. Miss. Miss. Dot miss. miss. <laughs> yes. I should have named it Swiss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's still time. Or may maybe Who's I should. Who's locking up matches? That come on. Maybe I should turn it before I light the match or something. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe it's faster. I don't know. It's lit now. Yeah, so. whatever. I think I got it. I think you just hold it down until the PSIs go all the way up. It's a super obnoxious sound. Yeah. I'm glad that they stick to it, though. <laughs> it's uh, I think I've heard this sample before in like a trap song. There we go. Boom. It still does that thing where it like resets the gauge. Yeah. Those trees look Okay, well, bad. no. I definitely need to turn off the thing. Now run cuz it's on it's going to keep going by itself. I think I need to shut it all the way off so that the fire stops. But won't it And then the back snare in? drum comes in. Yeah, like, and then I have to run pop, back pop, out. Pop. What are you quoting? Uh, go go go. Okay, there we go. Uh, now you fucked up. You fucked no, up. I didn't fuck up. I'm, I got it. Fuck! Get over there. You couldn't be more fucked up. <laughs> fuck! <laughs> fuck! Ah! This game is terrible. Why do people like this? <laughs> no! <laughs> Damn it! Maybe Look you're at just that the fucking worst tree. at it. But no, that was the whole point of this game: is that a million people bought it, but nobody knew how to play it. So nobody did this. Wait, what? Or tell, everyone tell me did about this. that. Do you know anybody who's beaten Mist besides me, or has even known how to play Mist? Uh, probably Enemy Violent in the chat. There you go. And... Like, this was like most sold game of all time, it wasn't exactly- You know, like, perfect example, your dad. He yeah. bought it because it looked amazing and he just wanted something that would look amazing on his dumb PC he paid too much money for to have a CD-ROM drive on. Now he built all his dumb computers. And then he didn't, you know, he didn't play it. He just put it in and went, wow, this is cool. And that was it. I don't think I'm ever going to get tired of that sample. No, never, 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 never. To be fair, to be fair, I remember this being, like, the most unwieldy sequence in the game. So if we can get this done, I think we're, I think we're pretty good. I just need to let it, the, the tree get, like, all the way up. Now it's a Silent Hill soundtrack. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the best thing to come out of that whole fucking let's play. Ugh. Finally something useful. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Oh no, oh no. But you're saying that most people who bought this didn't play it? I think that's crazy. I think most I think, the, I I would think agree with most that people that bought Mist did not progress in Mist in any meaningful way. But this isn't meaningful. <sighs> Come on, you <laughs> stupid piece of garbage. Okay, there we go. There we go. Don't be a dick to this game that I love. You don't love this game. I love this game. I don't know. I... Oh, God. One of my most favorite things about Keith is when he insists to other people that they don't like things they say they like. You don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! Let's do it. This is pretty. This, this I'm sure looked incredible in 1993. Oh yeah. Oh, and we get it full screen even. <gasps> Look at that. Boom. So Kyle. Yeah. You know how we were worried that I would be hearing an echo. Yes. I think I figured out what's actually happening. What's happening? 
anytime that I talk, y'all's audio ducks out until I'm done talking. Uh, that's like a Skype thing. Yeah, that's the thing that Skype does. I don't know what... It's never done that before during our play session, okay. so, so I don't know. Uh, I might be talking over y'all and not realize it. Uh, okay. nope, you haven't yet. Yeah, not yet. Yeah. I don't think. Okay. At first I thought it was GarageBand, but it's it's not, so who knows. This part is really disorienting. It's really disorienting. It's all the same. It's really disorienting all the time. It's especially disorienting in the original version. Uh. Well, I love when you can hear the nature sounds reset. Mm hmm. It's pretty good. You fucker. <laughs> Is this... I don't understand. Does this just mean, like, you're, you clicked it, you're good? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear the running water, so it works. All right, that's fine. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, uh. So, where are you guys? How are you? People in the chat trying to convince me that Knuckles isn't dumb. What? Knuckles the echidna? Yeah. What's dumb about Knuckles? His Other whole than how personality is being tricked by Eggman. He's literally a dumb person. Oh, you mean like that he, like, an intellectually is not dumb? Yeah. Okay. Then, yeah. Oh, sure, I don't know if that's how they meant it, but... I, I said dumb is his primary attribute after claws and flight. Like, that's just... <laughs> Me? What about you? Like, that's just what he... That's his whole thing. A lot of frogs here. Yeah. This is the worst. Maybe this is why the guide writer thought that that uh, this one was harder than mechanical. It's just because it's, it's the worst when you've already played the game. Yeah. Um... Because it's not you really knowledge-based. I keep... Uh, this is what I'm saying, is that you don't like this. But I've already done this before. I liked it the first time. I'm, I'm just now... Is, I'm now I think this doing... is the most tedious puzzle so far. Yeah. Like, I'm just here trying to do all this as fast as possible. I guess... I guess... Maybe I have things in the wrong order in my head. Maybe it's less complicated than I'm trying to make it. The first thing we have to do is get the elevator to work, right? Yeah, I guess so. I think it's funny, there's all these instances in the game where they give you just a tiny window to view movement through, because that's how big the animations could be. Right. It, make, it gives you this kind of interesting sense of claustrophobia sometimes. And then... I guess we can just get the red page right now. Where are you at, red page? When, how long do you think it's going to take the indie gaming community's, like, retro aesthetic phase to reach the hyper card part of PC history? <laughs> like three more minutes. Oh, man. Like, in a minute and a half, I think. <laughs> I'm secretly working on a hyper card game right now. I'm, I'm going to reveal that live on the air as a, as a run button exclusive. I think the game just crashed. Fuck. I don't think we should do this anymore. I think it's crashed three <laughs> times, and that's definitely enough. Maybe not. What happened? What has happened here? No, Mist is still open. Is it just not responsive? Oh man. Yeah, I think it definitely crashed. I think it did a Digimon World style crash. 
where we can still hear it and it's still there. That's the worst. Yeah. That sucks. This is a whole... Listen, at least it's giving us new types of crashes to deal with. Oh, yeah, look, it's got like that. <laughs> that. I haven't seen that just since one Windows tear. XP. That's because Windows weren't drawn like this since Windows XP. It's a roller coaster. It's a mist coaster. Um, oh, speaking of roller coasters, did you ever figure out the really audio sad. for Roller Coaster Tycoon? It's really, really sad. Jordan? Oh, no, I haven't messed with it yet because okay. uh, Movie Maker won't spit out a WAV file. It'll only do an... Uh, yeah, you've got to convert. There are there are there are online converters that'll do that for free and and really high quality. Just drag and drop it into your browser, man. Really? Because it's like a four and a half gig file. Uh, yeah, yeah. It should it should do it. Okay. The Myth. one that I had, I've done with two gig files, and it it worked. Missed masterpiece edition. What are you doing? Like crashing all over the place, bro. What are you doing? You're crashing all over. What are you? Doing? What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? Man, what? Get out of here. Jump in a butt, mist. <laughs> one, of, one of my favorite insults and people, like, it's it's one of my favorites because it's, like, so confusing. People don't understand what it means is, I'm going to go get a stepladder so you can jump up my butt. Ugh, that's gross. Yeah, I, mean, I, I know. I just yeah. said. I don't understand that at all. Because they're because they're little tiny people that need step ladders to get oh, in butts. Okay. I guess I don't know. I heard it on Mystery like they said it once on Mystery Science Theater, and I thought it was the funniest thing I'd ever heard. And uh, I've I've stuck with it. Okay. Jump in a butt. Miss, um, why do you keep crashing, buddy? I don't know. Buddy, I just felt like I just felt like it, dude. What are you doing? It's been a while. Come on. It's just real tired. I'm just it's been. Listen, I'm. I'm not as young as I used to be. This is I'm sad really about this. disorienting to play. I'm gonna get those red pages. Uh, pretty obtuse. I could just read Stop. a transcript of all of Cirrus's page FMVs. <laughs> Let. I'm just gonna open. Um, what's it called? Real mist. This, I, I just made the stream go black, by the way, just so people don't freak out. Yeah, don't, fr don't freak out. Don't freak out about the Wait, stream. Wait, freaking out. Black. Stop freaking out. We know that you're freaking out. Cut it out. Take a second. Quit freaking. Realize that you're freaking out right? over basically nothing. Same, God's making weird same for you, Jordan. Quit freaking. Gu guys, I'm freaking out. Jordan, calm down. Stop it. It's okay. I'm tripping. It's okay. Don't stop tripping. I told you not to set up those wires. <laughs> oh, you know what's out, guys? What's out? Uh, which apparently was a free update, not a different version you had to buy. Cube Director's Cut. Which apparently there's supposed to be like a lot of stuff different about about this version of Cube. Oh, man. I never finished Cube. I got real close, though. Cube, I'm talking about quick understanding of block extrusion. That is a... I love that title. It's so bad. It's great. It's the worst thing. I think it's really good. I think it's really good, too. God, you guys Did you guys ever Kyle's play Intelligent Cube? What's that? Did y'all ever play Intelligent Cube what? on no. the PlayStation 1? No, I never played that. No, I don't even know what that is. Intelligent Cube was a... Uh, it might be Intelligence Cube. Um, yeah, Intelligent Cube. Okay. Or technically IQ Intelligent Cube. Uh, it was a uh, puzzle game on the PlayStation 1, and it was really surreal and impossible, but great. What made it surreal and impossible? You are just a person. Uh, it actually kind of felt like Mist in a weird way, but you are just a person who is standing on a uh, field of granite cubes suspended uh -huh. in nothingness, and there is a wall of cubes uh, slowly marching towards you okay. and you have to change the way that they move and interact with them to keep them from crushing you while you're trying to uh, progress along this granite cube path so it's, and the cubes behind you are falling into nothingness and if you take too long you'll fall and die how much is it so like choo choo rocket mixed with Catherine 
Almost, yeah, almost exactly like that. Okay, um, but it's it. it's 3D, so it's not like top down. It's like if Catherine, instead of being like a tower that you're climbing, is a bridge that extends into right. the distance. And then also Choo Choo Rocket. Right. How much was it like Sea Man? Uh, on a scale of w- like one to ten, one I to would ten, probably one say like least like a, probably like one, one, like uh, probably ten. probably Guys. not at all like Sea Man. I just had a, a bombshell dropped on me. What? In the hint list uh, for the hint guide for Real Mist, it says danger. This will crash. Um, there is. It lists all the ages, and there's another one called Rhyme Age, and it says this is a new uh, a bonus age for Real Mist only. No hints available. Oh my god! I don't even know what that is. Is that the hip hop age? I hope so. It was spelled R I M E, which sounds exactly the way a hip hop artist would spell rhyme, so probably. Or a close relative to the Lime family. Let's just go get these goddamn. How look how much pages. easier it was in hit this one. Yes, this this game is twenty one years newer. So I'm looking on the stream and uh uh, the game is real tiny. Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. Fixed. But I'm not, I'm not saying that this game doesn't deserve to be better. What I'm saying is... Mist sucks and stupid. But Keith... <laughs> Keith. <laughs> yeah? When Mist came out, there were no games with polygons in them. Basically. Like... There weren't any ga- like, yeah, sure. like the best looking polygon games were like Star Fox, and like Star Fox wasn't even out. And then like you had this game that was like a world that you could walk around in. It was incredible. It was just a bunch of pictures. It was a flip book. You're playing a you were playing a flip book. Yeah, and when you're playing Donkey Kong Country, you're playing garbage. But everyone was like, "Oh my god, 3D animation! It's incredible!" Like, I mean, just because people liked Donkey Kong Country doesn't mean that Mist is good. I mean, what it, it certainly doesn't mean that Donkey Kong Country is good. No. So we don't have to solve anything, though, because we've already been here, right? Yes. Good point. So we can just go get that page. Mm-hmm. I believe that, it, as I understand it, that's what this should mean. What is this? What is this? It's a tag. I don't even... It's what? just a tag. It's that's just an, an ofudo. It's an aesthetic tag. I don't know what that is. What is that? Did you click on it? Yeah. yeah. On it. What did you say it was, Jordan? An ofudo. What's that? Uh, an ofudo is a is a charm that you get from Shinto shrines that either bestows a blessing on your house or helps ward away illness. Oh, sure. Kind of looks like that. Thanks, nerd. <laughs> I know yeah, that thanks, because nerd. We'll I was be watching over here Pokemon trying last to play night. Mist for the <laughs> third time. You're playing po- you were watching Pokemon and you saw it and then you like looked it up and learned all about it on Wikipedia? Well, no, I, I was watching Pokemon and like uh it was the episode where Brock and James are in love with the ghost of that maiden. And oh, so uh there true. is there is an like a an old woman in the town who sells them anti ghost stickers. <laughs> uh, yeah. and so uh I wanted to find out what those were actually called because I I've seen them in anime a bunch because like Sailor Mars uses them and they're in Ninja Scroll and they're they're all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're everywhere. Um, and so I wanted to look up what those actually were, and so then I went and read all about them on Wikipedia. So I was right. You could when yeah, I yeah. said all that, you could have just said yes. Yeah, but I think yeah, but the important part was that, that Pokemon called them anti ghost stickers. Well, yeah, yeah, that's my point. Of course they didn't. Which call is them way what they were. dumber. <laughs> they could have I mean, just it's explained. Not entirely that. inaccurate, but you know. Well, no, they couldn't just explain it because it's not explained in the episode because it was made for Japanese people who would know what they are. Right, exactly. It's like it's like there's another episode uh, where they're eating rice balls and uh, Brock calls them and says, man, these donuts are really good. <laughs> That's super I totally remember that. That's the episode uh, with, the, with the school, the training school. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Super funny. Pokemon still holds up, by the way. I, yeah, I just, does. all I can remember, one of my strongest memories of wow it just went from like midnight to dawn in an instant but one of my 
for whatever for whatever reason, one of my strongest memories of the Pokemon show is this part where Brock goes like, they just got back to a city after being in the wilderness for a really long time, and Brock's just like, mm-hmm. I can't wait to eat a nice big deep dish pizza. And just like, <laughs> even at my young age watching that, I was just like, something about what you just said strikes me as being incredibly wrong. <laughs> That's not right, nerd. Yeah. Brock's a wicked... Listen, if you knew Brock like I did, you know that he's a deep dish pizza nerd. I don't... Uh, I can't find the place. <laughs> Guys. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. This, by the way, this guy is super not afraid to be crossing these horrible rickety bridges. Well, it's me. You're saying you wouldn't be afraid? I, I'm not afraid right now. Well, you're not actually there. This is fake. What? Yeah, this is fake. That's not true. It is true. This is fake. You're at a computer. What you're doing? Like, you would probably be really good with like, Oculus Rift, like the Matrix. Yeah, it would probably. There, that way, that way. No, no, wait. This way? No. Wait, this might actually be right. This is just where you came from. You're going yep, in a circle. Yep, yep. I just went in a circle. That's fine. That's Big fine. Don't worry idiot. About it. Don't worry about it. Straight. Go straight. Or I mean, go take out, take the. Take the I have my out. movement speed at maximum. Can you imagine how intolerable this would be if it went, like, if we were playing this at like normal speed? Um, you mean how it would be more intolerable? No, I don't know. I can't imagine that. <laughs> Why don't you just leave? Because I'm just giving you a hard time. I don't care. Okay. Yeah. I mean, like, you should find this thing, though. <laughs> <laughs> Keith, I, I just don't think you in, know how to enjoy mist. I'm having fun right now. You, I don't think you like mist. Why are you... Wh- don't, don't say okay, that. Okay. It's so infuriating. I think you've been to all of these, though. Here, it's, it, here. it's here. Though. I know it's, it's not, here. Not up here. Are you sure you didn't get this one already? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I would at least be finding the houses where the pages were. Okay. I didn't know the page had, like, a specific page house. Like, you find, like, Cirrus and Akinar's houses. What is that thing out there? What is that? Just hanging out in the middle of nowhere. You could turn it to... Is anyone in the chat mode? telling me what I'm doing wrong? No. Nope. This is the worst. Let's see. This is such a nightmare. We're not on, like, the wrong set of tree houses, are we? Is that possible? Were there two sets and we just didn't realize it? I don't... No, because that's the door we exited through last time. That's no, how we yeah, get back. The, the doors are both there, I'm pretty sure. You might be right, actually. I think you're right. So the wind howling... I could have sworn it was coming from outside of the headphones. Oh. It's like, what is that horrible howling? Maybe this is the confusing part about this place that I've never understood. Maybe I need to go down here and then... So you're saying you accidentally were on the right track every other time, and now you finally figured out, oh, no, there's two, and I'm on the wrong one? Decoy track? Well, now we're back in Frogtown. No, it was more like I never understood how... Like, you're just up there, and you just need to find the house with the stuff in it. And why is it so hard to find the house with the stuff in it? Maybe because there's two separate... There's two separate networks of tree houses. And I was just in the wrong one. So, go back. Maybe it was the elevator that we couldn't get to. I, I know which elevator will take me to the right place if it is indeed separate from the place we just were. It's this one over here. Uh, Mitch says, oh man, I didn't even notice we're back to real mist. That's impossible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. What's this? It's an elevator. I want to get all the red pages so that we can then... Fuck. 
<laughs> yeah, get them all so we can fuck. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. Is that the wrong, is that the wrong How page? can this be possible? We need to look up a map. I'm just gonna Google it right now. Okay. Mist Channel Wood map. Here we go. Perfect. Oh, there's actually a map in the book. Yeah, there's also that. Eat explosives of these guys' houses are on the third floor. Third floor? Third floor. There's three floors? Yeah. Oh, I thought that you just knew they weren't on the third floor. Or I would have said, oh, remember the third floor. Yeah, of course. That... No, it's because I was paying attention to other times we played this game, so I remember. That was very good. Whoever said that in the chat, 10 minutes ago when I said, could someone in the chat tell us what we're doing wrong? That would have been a great <laughs> time to share that information. That's Ian Explosive. I think Ian Explosive hasn't been here the whole time. Okay, fine. Yeah. Is it Ian Explosive or I an Explosive? Like I, comma, an Explosive. I think it's what you said. I think it's. I think you're right, and I think, I think I'm stupid for thinking it was Ian. Don't step on the fucking tablet, cat. Sorry, there's a girl named Cat here. Oh, she keeps right. On the tablets. This, this elevator up here <laughs> only goes between the second and third floors. God. I'll have yeah. to actually do editing on this one, and uh, by editing, I mean I will just chop off everything we have done thus far tonight up till now. <laughs> up until this very uh, second. I, uh. and I, an explosive, says, Ian is my name, so then a weird pick then to not name yourself that. Yeah. Yeah. You should have thought of that. Kyle, you could, you could maybe put up the, the, the broken regular mist as like a let's install Mario Teaches typing video. Yeah, there you go. No, let's be honest. If people are watching a Mist Let's Play, they're already along for the ride. <laughs> so this, this is the blue room. Yeah. I hope I push the right button. Very interesting device, dear brother. This guy's insufferable. I'm not anything important, am I? <laughs> hmm. He is preparing. Remember, take only one page. <laughs> Did he have to Wait, get, hold like, on. Why did that not play last time? Yeah, who gives a shit? I have an important question. Right, yes. Up? You have the floor. He said, remember, take only one page. Mm -hmm. Is he talking to us? I no, think he's so. talking to Akinar because he says, like, hello, dear brother. Oh, okay. Maybe you are, maybe you're a third brother. M maybe you're their brother. You're both their brothers. Well, if you were one of their brothers, you'd have to be the other's brother, too. Did I just... Where's where's Sirius's house? Oh, it's back here. Okay. It sounds... This seems really loud. The wind? Yeah. It also, seems, it those trees are needles. It was a minute ago. Those somehow. trees are needles. Oh, it was in the... Uh, right here. Okay. Page. Got it. Let us, says, let us evacuate this age and never return. Seer says, so guys, what is Mist even about? I never even play, I never really played it or knew anything about it. Have you, like we're on a strange fucking island solving dumb puzzles? So I'll explain it as far as I know. Okay, great. This is what I understand Mist to be. Perfect. Um, you're on a dumb island solving dumb puzzles. No, 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 I'll be real, I'll be real. Uh, there's, uh, you are, like, transported to this island for no reason you find you find a book you find a book you that, find a mist book that teleports you to mist that teleports you to mist for no reason um and you learn that uh this guy locked his sons who did something horrible away into these books forever and these books well, we don't know that he did it we don't know who did it yet. We, okay, we, we don't, don't know, know who, who, did who did it i i okay so i'm assuming the dad did it okay. um but they, they, the sons think the father's dead, and they both think that the other one killed the father. Right. So, um... Uh... Or so, they're both telling us that the other one killed the father. Right. Um... So you have to go around and find all these pages that they hid, or that are placed in these, wor these book worlds, 
and the book, and then you find all the pages, and then you figure out who did it, who done it, who done it. You figure out who done it because you found the pages hidden in the book world from the two brothers. Well, say what happened. The thing is, when you get all the pages, I, I don't know if this was made clear or not. When you get all the pages. It's like you're releasing the person, right? So you're 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 basically so you're choosing which one you think you did. you make a choice who you think is the innocent one that gets free. Yeah. Oh, also, my theory is that uh, both of them did it, and neither of them know that the other one also did um, it. That's my theory. So, and, and just to be clear, yeah, uh, this is the third installment of. Let's play Real Mist Masterpiece Edition that we're doing. There are two past videos. They're both on YouTube, and there's much discussion of the story, like as it happens. That and you, uh, you we, can we so out. far we've only been collecting the blue pages. And the original plan for tonight was to go get the red pages in the original version of Mist, but it kept crashing. So now we're just doing it in the one that works. Yeah. So here's the next red page. Return. Must continue to help. My name is Sirius. I beg you to find me. To remain courageous. You must release me. Release me from this book which has become. They're both shitty enough that they probably both should be locked in these books, even if one of them is innocent. Don't waste time. Please take their time. Please take their time. And I wrong from prison. Bring the red page to me. Every time I watch one of these, I feel like I've completed a season of Game of Thrones. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That one's done. Seer in the chat says, that guy seems evil. We shouldn't help him. <laughs> no, well, seriously. Seer, he have you? He has a goatee and everything. Like, shave the goatee first, then we'll talk. <laughs> uh, totally on board. Only problem, other guy has a goatee, too. <laughs> I think the other guy has a full beard. Okay. Seer, the, the, problem, the problem you're having is you haven't seen the videos from the blue page guy. Because <laughs> he's just as bad, if not worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the blue page guy is supposed to be the more reserved, less crazy one. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh, fuck, no. Damn it. oh what have I oh, done? You, it, you, stu, you should be shot! You should be <laughs> killed! No, what, is, what, what did you do? I don't know what happened. Oh, you had. Okay, I know what. I know what you did. You had the puzzle solved and you ruined it. No, I think I just solved it. Oh, great. Bonus. You solved it just to prove you could fucking do it again. Oh, this is not even where the fucking entrance is. I'm a derp. Aw, oh, your cat's chasing her tail. That's fun. Better than chasing the cords. Seer, why don't you just stop watching this live stream and go watch our thing from the beginning? <laughs> yeah, watch it from the beginning, jerk. It's pretty good. I don't care. You can just watch this later. You can watch this later. Yeah, that's gonna be around. Don't worry about it. Pretty good, considering how how long it took us to to solve any of the puzzles in the first installment is, is pretty entertaining. I I thought you were gonna say considering how you're bad at the game, I'm totally uninterested, and Jordan couldn't hear it. <laughs> it. It was it was fun to go back and watch that first episode where I like had no audio information, and we're trying to solve puzzles that are specifically audio related, and I'm yeah. just giving the worst advice <laughs> on how to do it. Look at how fucking easy it is to get the red page from this place and then leave compared to the last place we were just in. Red page, done, leaving the same place I just came in from.
I still think those book videos are legitimately creepy. I think they're creepy too. I just think that there's way too much yeah. like Yeah, yeah, they were overdoing it. I mean, FMV was new, you know. And they they were they're game designers, not filmmakers, you yeah. know. Well, well, I, think, well, I, think, I thought we found out, I thought we figured out that Jordan was oh, okay. making that up. No, no, those, no that's that was... really the two. That's <laughs> the, that's Robin and Rand Miller. We don't want to redo that because I, I looked year. at I looked at the PDF manuals that that come with the games on GOG.com and like yeah, there's just like a picture of them there with you know down both down on one knee or something like hey, we made this game and I'm like oh yeah, that's Cirrus and Akinar. There you go. What are their real names? Uh, Sirius and Akinar. No. Have we <laughs> yeah. Robin and Rand Miller. Additional page. On this forgotten island of mist. I just like. I see that you are. Acting is hard. I was gonna say, game designer, not an actor, guys. Acting is hard, but what I'm gonna say is acting is hard, but like, not that hard. <laughs> like, it's not that hard to do. Oh, come on. Two more of the red. This is not I even. Released. I this is not even close to being among the worst, Don't like FMV acting. Blue. No, not even close. Not even close. That is where my for my wicked brother. He is a man of distorted mind and senses. He disgusts me. Yes. Seriously, it looks like he's enjoying being disgusted a little too much. For destruction is not. Never ending. Bring the red paper. Beg you, please release me from this prison. I promise you will be greatly rewarded. Must must. Help. Oh my god, Dude, I get it. Okay. So here's the thing uh, for the new people watching. Uh, Cirrus has been uh, described as having an insatiable lust for gold and treasure and yes. Uh, yes. an incredible greed. Meanwhile, his brother Akinar, uh likes torturing and murdering people? Basically, yes. Yeah. We found a few of his different torture chambers at this point, and yes. uh, he's got a really nice lamp made out of a rib cage that we're probably about to go look at. <laughs> that was super tasteful. tasteful. Like, that was such a good rib room. <laughs> like, I can't stress enough how, like, it, it's just so hard to set up a year round rib room that kind of brings together. It, a room. it brought the whole room together, yeah, and, 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 really and it, it almost together. like, you know. It was like it protected the room. Yeah, it like was. You couldn't. Of, you said, oh, this spread rib cage no it was, wasn't spread it, it wasn't was spread oh no it, it i'm sorry it was so tastefully done that it looked spread because it had that candle inside that projected the ribs onto the walls if you remember i thought that was just a gorgeous detail it's when i have listen when i have uh when i have more space i'm gonna definitely uh model my own rib room after this rib room was the one Wait. more i think there we go Oh, no, we don't need to go through here. We just go... Oh, yeah, just all the way down. Um, here's another interesting thing. Cirrus hasn't said anything about their father yet. I think he will when we put this one in. They because by now, Akinar has mentioned... By now, Akinar would have mentioned the father at least twice. You think so? I'm pretty sure that he, that he said... Killed our father. My brother. No, Akinar was more like this. He's like, eh, eh, he's, he's killed. He killed our father. Ah. <laughs> I think that's. I think that's more Akinar. I could remember it's the book that, in the turtle room. I could have sworn that yeah. the that at the beginning, uh, the father said that he thought that it was probably Cirrus, not Akinar. No, he he said I suspect Akinar, but I can't. Uh, okay. Believe. You know, he suspected him because he's a he's a weirdo he's torturing a weird murderer. Weird torturing murderer. Yeah. With just a gorgeous rib room. 
<laughs> like so. <laughs> Keith, yeah? stop! You're making me disappointed that we're not gonna go back and look at it. Oh, are we not gonna see that? I mean, we're already leaving. We've got places to be, things to do. It's Keith, in you can two you can play you your own it. copy of Real Mist Masterpiece Edition <laughs> on your own time when you want to see that that rib cage lamp. I don't know about I don't know about all that. Seer says, I'm feeling less and less confident that whoever we will release will not murder us. Um, maybe we could build a raft instead. Good news, we don't need a raft if there's a rocket ship. I don't think it's actually a rocket ship. With each page I can see more clearly. Soon, be free from this horror prison. This book. You must visit the one remaining eight. You have not that my brother is demented. He is guilty. He took advantage of the freedom our father had given us. Akinar began to Good to know we're going to be giving him that last page without all of the information. I ask you again. Do not retrieve the blue pages. He will destroy both myself and you, just as he destroyed the other pages of the mist. Does it ever get into their weird Hello. origin? Like, who the fuck are these people? Yeah, hold on. Must simply bring the red story that I your wisdom. You will see that I am innocent and he is guilty. This is forgotten island long ago. I like, and you will be greatly rewarded. Ugh, yeah. this gets the worst. So, uh, someone in the comments said that Mist 4 um, has a bunch of stuff about Cirrus and Akinar's backstory in it. That sounds or That sounds like the most interesting thing. Yeah, yet. that sound, sounded pretty interesting. They, also, they waited also, until 4? Wait, wait. What's up? Um... The one of the novels, the Book of Atris, is like a prequel to this game and okay. is like their entire family history. Ooh, yeah, that's that, cool. That makes sense. Okay, so wait. So Mist One called Mist. Okay. Swiven the I sequel know where to you're Mist. Going with this. Mist three? There's a very there's a very good explanation for it. No, there can't be. No, there is. <laughs> okay. Um now the this story might be a little hazy. I don't know all the details. I'm sure there are Mist fans that are like, here's exactly like the how Mist Three went from development, you know, publishing over here, and then Ubisoft picked it up. But Ubisoft developed and published Mist Three and Four. Got it. So that's why they're called Mist Three and Four, and not whatever Riven. Because yeah. <laughs> Riv Spiven Riven is the sequel to Riven. Riven is called Riven because Mist takes place in Mist, and Riven takes place in Riven. Uh, but then Mist well, Five. Mi well, hold, hold on. Mist Three was developed by Presto Studios and published by Ubisoft. There you go. Sure, whatever. Whatever. And uh, Mist Four was made entirely by Ubisoft. Okay. How are Mist Three and Four received? Um, I don't really know. That that person who commented said that Mist Four was their favorite. So. Oh, that's and I've I've played about an hour of Mist Three and it seemed really cool, and then I know Mist Five was developed by Cyan again. Uh, I'm gonna go over to this blue book and see if it will replay the video. Oh, my friend, <laughs> bring in the blue pages. <laughs> I see. Convinced the Cirrus is guilty. Pray, do not release him. Will destroy me just to see you. Innocent bystander. 
I've been wrongfully tricked into imprisonment. Don't you have observed his unbridled lust for riches? I like how that's his ammunition. Like, I know I'm a murderer, but this guy likes to have gold. Some plot. It was almost perfect. Blood diamonds? Final blow to the father. You tricked him into believing that it was I who was the murderer. I didn't murder father. Bring me the remaining. Just please. A liar. All in a liar. Not be free. The remaining blue pages from the last age of mist. I must be free. You must free me. I cannot bear it here for eternity. Free me. So okay, so here's an important thing. Yeah. He said he tricked him into believing that it was I who killed father. Yeah. Who yeah, would Sirius have been talking to? I, uh, I actually don't know. It, it sounded, sounded, like, he said it sounded he like he meant he tricked father into, into believing the, yeah. that it was I who killed, who murdered father. That's what I took from it, too. So their dad's a cat with nine lives <laughs> or a mortal or a weirdo. Um, yeah. Here's know. another thing is uh-huh. that. Cirrus said that Akinar had destroyed all of the other ages of mist. Yes. Like these which books. I think is why all these books are burned. I think it's, that's, yeah. Because I, I think all, well, no, because all these books that remain are all like journals. They're not like linking books, but yeah, I think there's, it's supposed to be like, there was supposed to be a bunch of more linking books to other worlds that were destroyed or something. Um, but like may, maybe these journals are what describe the age that the linking book takes you to. Well, they, they maybe, are. Maybe it's a set, like a box set. Like a box set. Here we go. Um, phone, can you pass me my phone? Yeah. Thank you. What? Why do you feel like you need to release these guys? Just leave. Because <laughs> one of them, someone on this island holds the key to you leaving mist why not get them both out and then have a have a standoff uh, nicole's home is a standoff a possibility uh that would be fun yeah i would say definitely go standoff because what are they gonna do destroy each other for you because <laughs> your the second way, priority if both well, of them like, are there your second priority all right i'm gonna Hop out for a minute. Okay. And go say hi. Uh, okay. And everything. So, Keith. Yeah, what's up? So, um, they are the only people who know how to write linking books, right? So, in order for you to get back to your world, you, one of them has to write you a book that will take you back to... Oh, I didn't realize that to... they knew how to write them. Do what? I didn't realize they knew how to write them. I think they do. Um, I mean, I believe you. I just didn't know that. Because I, you know wasn't paying attention the last stream and then i i couldn't see or hear much the first one <laughs> yeah i think like that's how they would have had the capability to trap each other in these books is that these are linking books that uh whenever you go, like the idea is that whenever you go into a linking book you have to take a book with you that will bring you back to where you came from right and so they got tricked into going into linking books that uh without bringing a book that would take them back how, to how mist. could they do it to each other i had i assumed that some third party had to have done it right that's what i assume maybe also. you are their father but with no memory maybe i am legitimately no, but, interested but in the story the, of the, this o- game the opening the opening cinematic of hey i dropped this book i wonder who found it i guess i'll never know mm-hmm. that implies that that's atris the father and so that you are you and Atris are different people. Um Yeah, I super yeah, I just don't I don't know. I feel like I just I miss so much of the of the context for the story by not paying attention, which is on me, but it's it's weird how that happens. Yeah, yeah. Um 
Well, I will say that the first the first time was not my fault because I was I could not see the screen. Uh, right. So I was so I was just hearing it. Um, which is almost worse than than just seeing it. Mm-hmm. Apparently, according to Wikipedia, there was at some point a missed television series in production at the Sci-Fi Channel, and it just never materialized. Yeah, there's a right now. There's a potential spoiler in the chat. I don't know if it's if uh, Mitch is joking or if he's not joking. But if you don't want to know a joke or not a joke about the ending of the game, then don't look at it. I looked at it. All right, let's talk about but it. But it's it's. It's something that we had already said. So it is something that we already said. But like I said, I also said a lot of things. Although that was yeah. the one that I felt most sure about. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. It's been it's been tough because like doing these let's plays with y'all has gotten me really interested in this game, and so I've been trying to read up on it in the series and just like learn more about it. But yeah. it's been really difficult to do that without like spoilers. Spoilers what's because it like this to game be interested is interested in this. You know what's that? Twenty like? years old now. Yeah. Uh, so it's so like people aren't guarded about missed spoilers anymore no they're definitely not um yeah 1993 was a big year missed power rangers oh Mitch, is, Mitch says i have no idea if that's true please don't believe me i thought that oh, Mitch okay. had beaten the game i thought that was part of mitch's deal um I don't know. Uh, I don't know anything about this. Game. I don't know anything about the. Game. <laughs> what? Um, what got you? What got you hooked? What's getting you hooked in this? I I think that the concept is really intriguing. I like. Uh, I like. I like the the idea of like basically having in the, the the narrative of of having infinite power pretty much and how it has corrupted this small family. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that's really intriguing, and like this, this is well, this is a that trap too. that I fall into a lot with um, worlds that are very close guarded with what their lore actually is, uh, and it's the same reason why, like, it's the same reason why I found Silent Hill intriguing, and it's the same reason why I really love in Adventure Time. It's the same thing. Like, there's obviously something here that has been very, very, very well thought out and methodically planned, and I am being given maybe 20% of it. Right, yeah. Uh, and that sort of stuff I love. And I, uh, that's also why I love the Big O so much, which is like one of, the, one of my favorite anime of all time. Uh, so so, that, so it's, it's got its hooks in me because of that. Now, the problem is, is that I'm very... Um, I'm very reserved about getting into things that are like this now because I've been burned a lot by things that don't pay off. Oh, yeah? What have you been burned by? Um, Assassin's Creed? Well, do what? Assassin's Creed? No, I, ne- I, ne- I, never, got, I never really got into Assassin's Creed. But those are, those uh, are the, my, That's what I've been burned by in the same vein as what you're talking about, where they set up yeah. this su- something that seems like a super well-crafted but uh, mostly obfuscated... Uh, mythos that feels like it's going someplace really interesting, and then they literally just, just not even not even f- address it poorly, just drop it, drop all pretense of that being what the game is about, and be a totally different thing. Right, it's so frustrating. Well, uh, Mitch never dies in chat. Says quick, nobody mentioned Lost, and uh, uh, I never got into Lost because I could tell from the beginning that that's what was going to happen. Yeah, and uh, so I watched all the people around me f- fall prey to the nefarious uh, schemes yeah. of the writers of Lost. That's exactly like, how I felt, but I had to. I ended up having to watch the first season of Lost to get Kyle to watch Doctor Who. Uh, yeah. That was a deal that I made with him, that I would watch that's, his dumb show if he watched my fun show. Um, that's, a, that's a fair deal. Yeah, and I ended up liking it the first season, so I was like, I'll watch some more of this, watch the second season. By the end of the second season, I was so done with it that I watched two mm-hmm. episodes or three episodes of the third season and then stopped I was like this is well, not see, and, and see here, here's the thing about Lost and it's, it's, it's why a lot of this stuff th- that's like this does, doesn't pay off it is super easy to write an intriguing mysterious first act yes yeah because you don't have to worry about how you're going to tie everything up mm-hmm. you can just and have s- weird stuff happening 
and people are, yeah how you, is this gonna work out like and, shit. It, but it doesn't it doesn't work out yeah um when it but for things where it does work out i think it's really great um and yeah. so i have been led to believe that mist is very comprehensive in its mythology and so i feel like uh devoting more time to learning about this yeah. stuff will be worthwhile. Yeah, mostly the things that I'm frustrated about this game is I wasn't paying attention to the lore stuff because I was so mad at how dumb the puzzles are. Mm-hmm. Immediately off the bat was frustrated with these with the design of the puzzles. Uh, yeah. And and these are this is the genre of puzzle that I really like. Um like I don't like I don't like fa- like fast. I like think puzzles not reflex puzzles you know what i mean uh-huh. like i like tetris yeah oh, totally. i hate tetris um and this is we talked i i'm thinking about it because we played tetris earlier uh how much i hate, <laughs> how much i hate it um and so i like this sort of stuff where you're finding clues and figuring things out but it seems like everything is one step too removed from a logical solution like mm-hmm. i like when puzzles are hard i don't like when there's any guesswork you know what I mean? Yeah. Like the fact that this has some guesswork in it totally throws the whole thing off because I, it presents itself I, as super logical, well thought out, well constructed puzzles, but it kind of they kind of aren't. I, I think it, I think the logic of the puzzles would be a lot more apparent if we had taken the time individually to read the books that are in the library. Because mm-hmm. like my understanding is that's where a lot of the exposition is, and that's where like like a lot of the like literal machin machinations of these puzzles is explained yeah that's that's um, also another thing is is putting all of your lore in books in one room at the very beginning yeah this it's like this this is a really good example of just an enormous info dump yeah yeah um, but you know like 20 it was 21 years ago is the f- kind of the first thing that was doing any of this like this is right. definitely the as far i can i can't think of a game earlier than this that had a more interesting story um well, I mean, like there there were point and click adventure games, but there was there was nothing, uh, there was nothing really atmospheric and immersive like this right. prior to this. Yeah, uh, my under, my understanding is that uh, Riven is a lot better about dispersing the lore throughout the world, but a lot worse but, about puzzles. Right. It's it like I think Kyle described it as fuck off hard. Yeah, yeah. I think he said, I, "Oh, I can't remember what his quote was, but it was funny." Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, w- I I do want us to play Riven, but we we are going to need a guide for it. It's not the kind of thing that we can just wander around in because it. Uh, oh, Kyle's the beaten Riven. Would end Kyle up being can like do 70 Riven. Hours. Kyle beat Riven like last year, without a guide, I think, or at least mostly without a guide. Um, really? Yeah, yeah. Because the way he's been talking about it, he's he's been saying that it's like you definitely one hundred percent need a guide. Oh, maybe he used a guide more than I thought that he did. Um, <laughs> but he definitely did beat it, and he. Oh, you know what? He played like a huge chunk of it without looking at a guide and then he was so stuck and he could not figure out what it was and like it was just like so he had to look at a guide and i think this is what he was talking about when he said you need to look at a guide he had to look at a guide because he couldn't figure out what was happening and there was just a door that had no attributes of being a door so he just didn't know how to progress any further and that's what the prop was um it, it, it's something very close to that where he ended up needing a guide to tell him and then you go through this door oh that's a door um, <laughs> or something it was something like that yeah 